Hey there, Sart here. Uh, we've got some new content this week. We've got uh, the Turks Play for Keeps, which is the weekly challenge uh, event that goes along with the uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, World Divisions event. I'll get to my World Divisions clears uh, later in a separate video, uh, but I want to go ahead and start and just show you a, a really um, budget team to take down the Turks Play for Keeps level four. Um, so here are the rewards, and you get the Master's Crown for this level and the level before it, level 3, so you can use this team and strategy for both levels if you want to. You also get a 50% uh, STMR Moogle. Uh, if you do level 3, you get another 50% STMR Moogle, so that gives you a full 100% STMR from a unit if you need it. Um, it's, a, it's a fairly easy one. Uh, you've, got, um, you've got Rude and Reno. They're both humans. Um, they do some physical attacks, magic attacks, you know, it, it, it really their attacks aren't going to deal any damage, so we don't really need to worry about it too much. Um, it's a pretty simple fight, and I, I wanted to sort of figure out like a really budget team I could take in here. So um, here we go. I'm using the NeoVision Awakened Cloud because um, who needs to pull for the new NeoVision Cloud when you can just take NVA Cloud to clear the content, right? Um, it, it, and, and so we'll um, we'll also bring a couple of seven stars in Avalanche, Biggs, and Wedge, and then Avalanche is Jesse. Um, I am going to bring um, uh, Cetra Descendant Aerith. Um, I, I have her EX3 because I've I've had her for a long time. Um, if if you're just picking up Aerith for the first time from uh, from the login rewards and from the the current event. Um, you can, you know, you can still use her. Um, you, you just won't get her LB up on turn one. But I will. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about how you can use that fifth slot to um, to actually get her LB up and ready on turn two. Uh, so you can still basically follow this guy. This is a two turn clear, one turn to set up, and then we're just going to knock them both out on turn two. Uh, if you have somebody like Sephiroth, though, um, you can honestly just clear this on the first turn using Sephiroth's normal form limit burst which is um which is an AoE attack and uh you know he can just basically destroy both of these guys in one hit um just using Biggs and Wayne uh Biggs and Wedge to set up a chain for him uh but I I wanted to do this in a bit of a budget fashion so let's uh let's get into it here so um you honestly don't need to worry about Aerith's gear she's literally just here to do her limit burst which does um, it does the light imbue, 45% light amp, 400% full buff, and 250% LB damage boost. Um, and then she will also be doing her, ba, 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 where is it? Her wish to save the planet ability. Um, again, this is, uh, this is only available if you have her at EX plus two, I want to say. Um, so if she's not at EX plus, plus two, you might not be able to use this ability. But again, I'll, I'll show you how you can, how you can make up for it if you don't have her at EX two. All right. Um, Cloud is only going to be in her bra in his Brave Shift form. Um, so here's some fairly budget gear. The Buster Sword, which is upgraded. You get that from a Chronicle Battle. Um, Mask of Azura for human killers. Guy's Belt, again, for human killers. Uh, Sigurbrinja is there just for the 50% LB damage buff. Um, Soul of Palladia is just a... It gives you 50% TDH. So any piece of gear you have that will give him uh, that extra 50% TDH is good there. Um, and then here we're just boosting his LB damage and his um, and his TDH to make sure that we're maxed out on all that stuff. And so he's got 400% TDH, 300% human killer, 300% LB damage boost. Um, I gave him Chizuru's card just because you can buy it now in the Perma VC Select Shop. So it's a nice uh, budget card at this point. Um, Biggs and Wedge, they are just, uh, they're dual wielding. Um, with Aurora Scarf so that their normal attack hits four times. So their normal attack is a seven hit tag chain that hits AOE. So that's how we're gonna ramp up the chain for Cloud to Cap. I gave him Poppy's Passionate Paintbrush just because it has uh, seven different elements attached. So it ramps up the chain like instantly. Uh, so that's really, really useful because the chain is gonna break. It probably will break once or twice because Cloud's LB and and the tag chain doesn't quite mesh up all that well, but it's okay. We're still going to crush it. Uh, and then equip staff just so he can actually equip Poppy's uh, passionate paintbrush. Um, and so Avalanche Jesse is just wearing lots of um, 
uh, she's wearing lots of LB fill gear, so that's why I gave her Ling's uh, Ling's dagger. You, you can give her something like Nyx's dagger too, or, or something else that just has some good LB fill uh, fill ray boost, because you want her LB up on turn uh, turn two, so that she can use that LB. Um, so that's why I gave her like Call of the Wild, Advanced Weaponry, and then just made sure she had 12 LB fill per turn. You notice I've given her a uh, vision card slot though. Um, if you wanted to, you could give her, um, you could give her the card no matter the cost. And I'll show you, uh, what that one, uh, there it is, no matter the cost. So it's the one with riser on it. Um, and this is a unique it gives a unique ability to seven star units that equip it, um, and it gives them a turn one LB fill. So you can equip this to um, to her if you have given her the master card upgrade so that she can equip uh, a, a vision card, and that will fill up her LB gauge on turn one. I'm not gonna assume that you've done that for your avalanche, Jesse, so I'm gonna remove it, but that is something that you can do. And in fact, if you don't have an EX2 Aerith, then you can actually put another Avalanche Jesse in that fifth slot um, and have her set up with a Master Card. Uh, or you can simply have one set up with all the LB fill, um, you know, to make sure that she is up and ready. But give one of them a, a Master Card with that Vision Card so that they can have that LB up and they can then entrust it over to Aerith so that she can have her LB up and ready to go. So that's how you can get uh, an EX0 Aerith up with her LB uh, by turn two, too easy. All right, so here's the team that we're working with. Let's go ahead and get in there and see how we get this done. All right, so the first turn is just a setup. We're gonna have Aerith do her LB for the light imbue and all the buffs. Um, Jesse. All right. Now, it, of course, if Jesse had the Master Card equipped, we wouldn't have to worry about filling up her LB. But since we're not, we're going to worry about it. So, um, we're going to do Bursting Break for the AOE attack and mag breaks, and then we're going to do Double Lay Down some Rubber for some LB uh, fill rate boost and for straight up LB fill. Biggs and Wedge is just going to do give me a bit more time for um, some general mitigation for the team, and then Power of Midgar Midgar Special to do some more LB fill. Cloud is gonna do Meteor Burst, which is going to, um, that's gonna fill up his LB gauge, and so he'll be ready to go next turn. Um, I'm gonna do a double rushed strike, uh, just to drop some LB crisps. However, if your Aerith is not EX2, you'll want to use Brave Stance on this turn in order to give him a human killer buff. It's only 50%, but it's better than nothing, so um, use that if you don't have an EX2 Aerith. Since I do, um, I'm going to be using that human killer buff that she has next turn, so I'm just going to do two rushed strikes to drop some LB crisps. This is going to hopefully help fill up uh, Avalanche Jesse a little bit. She just needs a few. There you go. She's good. I think she only really needed like one, maybe two uh, at most. All right, so now Aerith can use Wish to Save the Planet, which does the human killer buff. Avalanche Jessie's going to do her LB to do the breaks and uh, all the imperils. And um, Meteor Rain and, yeah, Avalanche, Biggs and Wedge, they're just going to do their normal attack. Uh, so there's a little bit of wind-up on Cloud's LB, so I'm going to tap him first, and then I'll send Biggs and Wedge. You'll notice the chain's going to break a few times, but we're still going to crush it, so don't worry too much about that. There you go. Yeah, because Biggs and Wedge is wearing Poppy's paintbrush, that chain ramps up insanely fast. And so even if, you know, there's only like three or four hits in the chain, it's still been ramped up to the max. And there you go. When that last hit lands, it crushes. So that's how we did it. Of course, Cloud's doing all the damage there. Um, nobody else is dealing any damage. And, and that's how we get an all missions clear with a fairly budget team. So hopefully this helped you guys out. And uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to be doing some World of Visions clears. And I will see you on the other side.